Hi, I'm Katie Gant. I'm a research assistant in the Neuroprosthetics Research Group, part of the Department of Biomedical Engineering and the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. Marianne has a C5 motor complete spinal cord injury, so she has no voluntary control over the muscles in her hands. We use a wireless EEG headset to record the electrical activity generated in Marianne's brain. Now there's nothing wrong with Marianne's brain, there's nothing wrong with her muscles, it's just the connection between the two that's impaired by the spinal cord injury. We ask Marianne to imagine opening and closing her hand, which would enable her to pick up an object and move it from one side of the table to the other. While she imagines moving, the recording equipment sends signals wirelessly into the computer. In the computer, we have special algorithms and equations that try to decode the neural activity and determine what Marianne is thinking. If the computer decodes Marianne's neural intent correctly, Marianne receives stimulation of the muscles in her forearm, which control opening and closing of the hand. So that when Marianne thinks about moving her hand, electrical stimulation is sent to those muscles to enable her to grasp and release the object. So Marianne, just by imagining the movement, can pick up and move objects from one side of the table to the other, which she is not able to do without this neuroprosthetic device.